Have you heard about Disney World's new minivan service? Well, it is a fantastic option for many, but not everyone. So today in this video, I want to tell you the pros and cons of using minivans at Disney World. Let's go. First, let's start with some basics, because if you've never heard of it, none of this is going to make sense. Minivans are actually Chevy Traverses. They're not minivans, but they're mini in that mini mouth. They are red and white polka dotted Chevy Traverses that see up to six people and they are driven by Disney cast members. You can call a minivan by using the Lyft app and it is basically Disney's answer to Uber because they knew that Uber had gotten really popular among Disney World guests and so this is their service that is, is sort of in competition with Uber. But it doesn't make sense for everyone to use it, and so I wanted to go through the pros and cons of the minivan service with you today. Let's start with the pros, because it's more fun to start with the positive. Um, first of all, one of the hugest pros is something I just mentioned, which is that minivans are driven by cast members. And not just cast members, but really great cast members. As I understand it, this was a very competitive job to get when it opened up, and so you tend to have very experienced cast members that are not only super responsible and experienced at Disney World, but very helpful. And many people after riding a minivan report that the cast members were a highlight for them because they were so knowledgeable and helpful during that trip. So that is a big pro of using minivans. A second big pro in using minivans is that they can go a couple of places that other cars cannot. In particular, those two places are the Magic Kingdom bus stops right in front of Magic Kingdom. The only the only transportation that can go there usually is Disney World buses, but if you take a minivan, you can come to and from the bus stop in a minivan and uh, just skip all the lines that are in the at, the at the bus stops there. So that's a huge one. The other place that you can take a minivan that other cars can't is Pioneer Hall, which is where Hoop Dee Review is and Trails End Restaurant. Normally, this can only be accessed by boat. Normally, you would catch a boat at Magic Kingdom to go over there, or internally at Fort Wilderness, you can get there by Fort Wilderness bus, or people that are staying at Fort Wilderness have golf carts that can go there. But no matter what you do, even if you have your own car, you have to take, you have to take um, a bus at Fort Wilderness. So normally this is a pretty tedious process to get, get there, but if you take a minivan, it can pick you up right where you're at, and it can go to Pioneer Hall, saving you a lot of time if you happen to be going to Hoop Dee Review or Trails Inn. That's number two. Number three on the pros list is that there are two car seats included in the minivans and they can be rear facing or forward facing. This is huge for families that need car seats and the, pe the drivers of the minivans have been trained to properly install them. So that's a huge perk over other types of services. Number four is that they can also, some of them, can accommodate ECVs or wheelchairs. Now, there are only a few of these available, but the ability to load an ECV into the minivan is a huge perk, considering that that would be much more difficult if you used an Uber or taxi or something like that. Now let's get into the cons of the minivan service, because there are a few. First of all, it is $20 each way for people on site at Disney World. So that is a roughly double what it would cost to take an Uber X, which is what I tend to use on trips. And um, so normally if you take Uber X, which is the lowest level of Uber, it's like eight to $10 or so, depending on where you're going and being picked up from. But a minivan is $20 no matter what. Now for families that need car seats, this is actually not a bad price because if you called an Uber with a car seat, it, it, it does cost more for that. Plus, as I mentioned in the pros, you know, you have the safety considerations and stuff like that. So for many people, the cost is, is a big con. That is the first one. Number two is there is limited availability. So if you, since I'm already been comparing to Uber, if you open the Uber app and wanted to, an Uber to pick you up at Disney World, they are often there within just a couple of minutes because there are lots of Ubers available. Minivans by comparison are much more limited availability because this is a relatively new service that Disney is still rolling out and it's pretty popular. So there just isn't availability as often as you might like. That is number two. Number three is that it is only available to people staying 
on site at Disney World. And as of right now, it's only available at certain resorts. I'm not gonna list those resorts because the list is always changing. So if I list it here, it's gonna be outdated within days. But if you click the link in the description, I keep that list updated at that link. Um, and just recently, right before I recorded this video, a value resort was added to the list for the first time. So it's only available at certain resorts. Hopefully it will be, be available eventually at all resorts. But as of right now, just just available to on-site guests staying at certain resorts at Disney World. And finally, the last con is that minivans can only travel to Disney locations because they are they are owned by Disney. Um, they can also go to the airports. Um, that's sort of a separate topic, only available to club level guests at certain resorts as of right now. But in general, minivans only go to Disney World locations. So if you, for instance, wanted to go to Universal or do some off-site shopping or something like that, you would have to look at other forms of transportation. So that is the pros and cons list. I would invite you to click the link in the description, which also includes a chart that compares minivans to Uber, taxi, having your own car, using Disney transportation, things like that. I hope that helps. See you next time. Thanks for watching.